Here we have a SAT math question. Let's go to the information. Given that square root of x square plus 7 whole cube equals to 64, what is the value of x to the power of x? Okay, so in this question, we have to find the value of x to the power of x. So for that, we need the value of x. So we have to solve for x in the given equation over here. Okay, let me write the given equation as it is. That is square root of x square plus 7 uh, whole cube equals to 64. Okay, now uh, let me write the stuff on the uh, left side as it is. It is uh, square root of x square plus 7 whole cube. And on the right side, I consider the number 64. It is a power of uh, 4. That is, uh, 64 can be written as a 4 cube. Okay, now, uh, so two terms are equal with the same exponent 3. So whenever two terms are equal with the same exponent, uh, what we can do is we can equate the basis. When I equate the basis, I am getting square root of uh, x square positive 7 equals to 4. Okay, now uh, to solve for x, I have to get rid of the square root we have on the left side. To get rid of the square root over here, I have to square both sides of the equation. Okay, let me do it. So when I square on the left side, the square root and square will cancel. I'm getting x squared positive 7 equals to. So the value of this 4 square is uh, 16. Okay, now we have to solve for x. So for that, we have to isolate x. So first, let me get rid of this positive 7. For that, I have to subtract 7 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 7, 87 will cancel. I'm getting x squared equals to. So the simplification of 16, negative 7 is a 9. Okay, now I have x squared equals to 9. Okay, now uh, to solve for x, I have, I have to get rid of this square. So for that, I have to take square root on both sides. Okay, let me take square root on both sides. That is square root of x squared equals to square root of 9. Okay, so when I take square root on both sides of an equation, I have to take positive or negative sign for one of the square roots, either on the left side or right side. So usually we take positive or negative sign for the square root, which contains number inside. So this square root contains a number 9 inside. So we can take positive or negative sign for this square root. And on the left side, the square root and square will cancel out. I'm getting x equals to positive or negative. Okay, the value of square root of 9 is uh, 3. So I'm getting two values for x. One is x equals to 3 and the other one is a negative 3. Okay, our aim is to find the value of x to the power of x. Okay, when x equals to 3, what is the value of x to the power of x? Let me evaluate it. So x to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 3. So 3 to the power of 3 means 3 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 27. So the value of x to the power of x I'm getting uh, is 27 when x equals to 3, but I don't find 27 in any of the given options. Okay, now let me consider the second value of x, which is negative 3. That is uh, when x equals to negative 3, what is the value of uh, x to the power of x? So now we have to plug in negative 3 for x. That is negative 3 to the power of uh, negative 3. Okay, so here uh, the exponent is a negative. So our first work is to make this negative exponent as positive. So let me consider uh, there is one multiplied over here. Okay, for a particular term, whenever I want to change the sign of the exponent, what I need to do is I have to move the term to denominator. So when I move this to denominator, automatically this negative exponent will become positive. In numerator, we'll have this one. So one over negative three whole to the power of three. So I just move this term to denominator to make the negative exponent as positive. When I move this term to denominator, so this negative three exponent will become positive three. Okay, now we have 1 over negative 3 whole cube means we have to multiply negative 3 by itself or for 3 times. Okay, so we have 1 over negative times and it will become positive, positive times and it will become negative and uh, 3 times 3 is uh, 9, nine, th 9 times 3 is uh, 27. So I'm getting a 1 over negative 27 or it can also be written as negative 1 over 27. So when x equals to negative 3, the value of x to the power of x is negative 1 over 27. I find negative 1 over 27 in option A. So the correct answer choice for this question is option A.